Hi, Felicity. How are you? Hi, Stefan. I'm well. How are you doing? Yeah, really good, thanks. Um, I really loved uh, the movie. I, it was a real tonic when I saw it. It just felt like it was exactly the sort of thing. Oh, I was that's really so cool. nice to say. Um, I was, I was going to ask, in regards to what kind of attracted you to the role, was it quite nice to play something in the kind of modern day? Because I was I sort of only realised when I sort of watched it, it feels like a while we've seen you in a contemporary setting. Recently, it either seems to have been in the past or the, or the future. Was that was something that was quite interesting to play again? Yeah, absolutely. That was a massive draw, was to play a contemporary character. I also wanted to do something that was humorous. I'd done a film called Chalet Girl years ago and just really enjoyed the experience of it and and I wanted to do something a little lighter and and then I read Ellie and I just fell in love with her when I read the script and I just thought oh, I'd love to do this I'd have such great fun doing it um so it was a really sort of <clears throat> yeah it just felt like a no-brainer yeah because the character of Ellie she's kind of romantic and cynical at the same time do you think in some ways we're all a bit like that yeah, definitely. I think I think the cynicism comes from a you know a lot of fear and a lot of um, feeling that you've been vulnerable in the past and and things haven't gone your way. So the cynicism is a is a self protective measure. But I think underneath that, as you say, I think she's deeply romantic and and deeply sort of hopeful and optimistic. But has just you know as life does it, you know you get a little bit burnt as you get older, and so she's found a way of protecting herself through through her sarcasm in, in many ways. And one thing I loved about the movie, it's kind of unapologetically romantic, but it's never sort of mawkish or overly sentimental with it, which is actually quite hard to achieve. How was that kind of written down? Because romance on the page can seem, dare I say, quite gooey at times. And sometimes you don't get a sense for the, the tonality. What was it that convinced you this feature wouldn't be that way inclined? Uh, well, it's interesting you say that because I think, yeah, in the wrong hands, perhaps it could have got a little sentimental and, and soppy and a little generic. But but um, but Augustine Frizzell, who directed the film, had done some really interesting work before that was very, um, uh, I want to say edgy, which sometimes feels like a bit of a bit of a funny word, but it had a it had a bite to it. And she's not she's not scared of um of pushing things and, and sort of her sensibility and her aesthetic and her sharpness with this material felt like it would stop it getting too soppy and sentimental and 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 her just her sensibilities are what are what keeps you very engaged and she's incredibly I think just uh, a warm person and and empathetic and so you get that lovely balance of of you know, understanding hu the human emotion and the human condition, but it's done through quite a punky lens. Yeah, something that was sort of slightly less romantic was the sandwich eating scene. Uh, <laughs> how, how many times did you have to kind of shoot? I always wonder with scenes like that, because surely you couldn't have done more than two takes at a time. Well, I was really looking forward to it because I got to eat an almond croissant and I'm a big fan of almond croissants. So I was, you know, I was really looking forward to this morning uh, with the coffee. I was like, oh, this is great. But then by about sort of take five, take six, then I figured out that probably actually eating it isn't the way to go. And so I did the old in the mouth and then spit it out into a bucket. Uh, but it's it's interesting that kind of sequence is so precise the timing mm. that you um, yeah you just have to get everything so detailed and we just we we tried different lengths of her eating how much that would annoy uh, Rory Naban's character and it's yeah it's a really very simple kind of old school movie sequence. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we're talking sort of old school. The film obviously celebrates the kind of old, more classic means of communication in the form of writing letters. Have you ever had a, a pen pal? I, because I, I did when I was a kid. I had a, I met a guy at a caravan resort called Jazz, who had long hair, and he was about five. Years, I was about five years old, and we stayed in touch, but we then lost touch. But yeah, oh you, no, you, you should you get a, back in contact with him. No, I, the... yeah. Yeah, if I Google his name, it'll be quite easy to find. I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I, I, um, I, I think I did have a pen pal once. I think I had one of those, you know, in French, in French, you then, there was a whole scheme of putting us with French pen pals. But I think, I think we only wrote to each other once or twice. <laughs> that sort of petered out. Um, but it is, it's lovely to write letters. I mean, I don't, I don't get the chance often enough, but it is really, it's really important to do. I think it really, um, you're much more vulnerable in a letter and, and there's something, I think there's more honesty in writing a letter than probably an email or a text. Yeah, well that said, you can't have group chats in paper form, so. No, yeah. you're right. And that's something that technology is, this sort of community aspect of te technology is, is really special.
Yeah, brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Pisty. It's always a pleasure speaking to you. I'm sure we'll catch up again on something soon again, soon enough. Fantastic. And glad you enjoyed the film. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> All the best. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, hey.